from Wide Mouth Mason. Uh, we talked again yesterday. He caught me on the golf course. What a rough life I had, eh? It is just terrible golf course. being you. Isn't Pull that up a little closer to you, right. just for now, anyways. While we have a little chat, my friend. So Sean's here. Earl's here. Saf had to go. Yes. Out. He's going out to get a little bit of some brushes or something. He wants to do a little uh, a little percussion for us uh, today. But hey, it's great you guys could make it here. You just got off the plane like an hour ago, maybe a little bit more than that. From from January in Saskatoon, yeah. where it's uh, currently uh, a three thousand. Below? Plus six. <laughs> Plus yeah. six. No. Yeah, really? Yes. And on my on my flight out from Vancouver <laughs> to Saskatoon, where we were writing, uh, we go back to write in the basement that we've written probably eighty five percent of our songs in uh, in Saskatoon at Saf's parents' place. We go back there to write. Okay. And on the way there, uh, I had a, a snow delay. Our plane couldn't take off because it had to be de-iced okay, on June 6th. June, dude. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. So landing here, and as soon as the uh, as soon as we went out the doors of, of the air-conditioned airport was just wicked. Yeah, you gotta like it. I mean, we're hitting about 30 degrees. Wake Fest, did you say? More than likely Wake I Fest, yeah. That's what it was. You so said, that would have been 2007, I think. Yep, because we didn't have one in 08, and yeah. we're not having one this year. So it would have been 07. Oh, yeah, so we sure. kind of closed it down. Oh, we got to get your mic on, Sav. Hang on, there we go. Did we close it down then? Is that. Oh, yeah, it's all your fault, man. Yeah. That's why. Sorry. <laughs> With a bang. He's really feeling bad now. <laughs> not really. Not really. Not really. Okay, no. Politically, I'd like to say sorry and apologize to fans of Wakefest. Okay. Well, there you go. That, that was a heartfelt apology. It was, it was, that's so. as real as I get. Okay. <laughs> so from there, it's all just fluff? Is that uh, what it is? Pretty much. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I go back with you guys, and I don't know that you really remember me that well, but uh, with the, with flashbacks, because I used to work there from about 99 to 2004 with Billy, uh, and uh, Billy's daughters oh, are good Billy. huge fans, of course, of the band. Good and, friends. And you guys, friends. Yeah, good yeah. friends, for sure. And and, the Shepherd Girls. Yeah, and, uh, and of course I was DJing there at the time, so it was very cool to see you guys uh, all those times that you played there and always put on a great show. You know one of the things, and I, I love Wide Mouth Mason music, but you know one of the things that stands out for me is, is, uh, is Jeff Beck. Uh, you know the song. Uh, well, You'd be going his, down, his right? version <laughs> of, yeah, we do going down a lot. Yeah. Um, and we, we ran some other Beck stuff, and we're probably our version of Superstition's a little bit informed by his version of Superstition, sure. too. So. No, when I first heard it, you guys, you guys just rocked it, man. That was killer. Uh, there's nobody out there that does that kind of stuff, for sure. You know? Well, we were, I mean, it's Jeff Beck, for people who maybe just know a couple songs, you should, uh, you should YouTube him sometime. He's maybe the, uh, one of the greatest living guitarists on earth. And, and, uh, and we, we grew up being inspired partly by those players, players, uh, some of whom were from the 60s and some of whom were from, you know, the, the modern times we were in. But we also grew up in the 80s and, and love a, a big, powerful chorus. We grew yeah. up on Prince and the Police and bands like that. So we've, we've always been kind of a mix of those things. But the, the thing that all those people have in common is that they could bring it live. You That's know, right. You'd see it live. It wouldn't just be a rehash of what was on the record, but it would they would try and take it to another place. And and you must probably have ringing in your left ear from uh, standing up in the DJ booth and yes. flashbacks right next to where two or three of my amps were usually pointing. Yeah. So. Between you and Gordy Johnson, I, I actually have very little <laughs> hearing left because <laughs> it was uh, it's been pretty big for sure. Um, so you guys have uh, been working on some new stuff, is what I understand. We have. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you give us a little insight, uh, tell the listeners what, what they can expect, what they're looking forward to. Well, I remember last time we were here, we uh, maybe for the first time ever played a, a couple of new songs, or we rehearsed a couple and played one during the show, I think. Mm -hmm. And tonight we'll probably be, uh, be playing one or two that are going to be on an album that will be coming out in the next little while of new Wide Mouth stuff. Um, and just prior to that, we're going to be putting out, it's the 10th anniversary of the last time we played at the Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland. Oh, very cool. So we're putting together a package of our, I never knew our, that. our two performances from there that we're going to be releasing. And I know fans have been looking for a live record from us for a long time. So, so that's just going to be a CD or is that going to be, is there a DVD too. Yeah. DVD too? Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Um, Earl's been busy too. I mean, I know that uh, Sean's been working on some solo stuff. Uh, I'm not sure about Saf, but I I know that Earl, uh, you've got a band. Are you going to be at the cusp this year? Is that is that your band? Yes, we are. I'm not sure where that is, but I take it it's near here now. <laughs> you know what? We played there once before. <laughs> 
It is a very. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very so, sweet It place. sounds like a fun place, though. No, yeah, Tell us about your side project, it's really side quickly. Project's here. called Mo Badass. Uh, it's it's just kind of a fun, high energy, more of like a islandy rock yeah. sound. Um, and yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's it's been fun to just you know write songs and and sing and and play, but I do miss uh, not having to sing and getting to rock out on stage, which I get to do in Wyandotte. You off. really do. Yeah. I don't know if anybody, uh, well I know a number of our listeners definitely have seen you guys play, but this is a band that moves around and actually catches your eye as much as they catch your ear because you guys are really, really enthusiastic and energetic on stage for sure. And good looking. Yeah, absolutely. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I think that the fact that we are able to do the side projects um, it has been really great for the band because then when we get back together, you really uh, shine a light on what works best in this band and, and we, we love playing together. We love the catalog of songs we've made over all these years. So it's, uh, it's, it's great to have those, those trips out into different regions and play, for me, acoustic shows and have it be based on that kind of thing and Earl to do his shows. And, and then when we get back together, it just, uh, like you said, you, you, you know, after a while of doing one thing, you miss the other. So it's, we, we're taking a, a page out of maybe the Blue Rodeo playbook and, and having people be able to pursue different musical things but keeping the band together instead of breaking it up in order to do that. And, and stopping something that's a good thing. I think thing. that's important as well because uh, if you've got a good chemistry, you guys have been together quite a while now, right? Mm -hmm. You know, probably 14, 15, 15, 15 years. 15 years yeah, I was going to say at least at least a dozen or more. So, yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, it's good that you guys can uh, amicably go, i got to do this project, and the other guys go, yeah, that's cool, man. We'll support that. That's awesome. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so i got to take care of some business, but when I come back, Y'all gonna do a song for me, right? We will. All right, stay with me. We're coming back with Wide Mouth Mason. Mm -hmm. 